welcome back to my youtube channel remember to like share and for those who haven't subscribed what are you waiting for this is my topic how do we face our sad circumstances in life at times at times life just throw things at us what do we do do we run do we give up <laughs> this is me this life that I am living, Whew. I'm sad. I'm not happy. At times I am happy, at times I'm sad. Sorry guys. At times I am broken. Like now I am broken and I feel to share this video with you guys. My family, my YouTube family, yeah. Sometimes we are on our own family, but we are broken same and we are sad because they have their problems also and doesn't have time for us. So this is it. Now, sometimes we are faced with things that we didn't expect and didn't know it ha would happen to us. Sometimes we are faced with depression, blindness, cancer, lupus, AIDS. Pain in the joints, arthritis, different, different illnesses, ear loss, depression, panic attack. But do we sit and argue, do we give up and give up on ourselves and say this is the end of the world? No, we cannot give up and say this is the end of the world. As we face with our circumstances, we did surgery going through a rough time. We are depressed, we are sad, we are lonely, but still we still have to hang on. I went through a lot, which I didn't know I would be alive today. But thanks be to God, I am here to tell you, testify of the goodness of God and the goodness of friend Miss Beth Production, my sister Joyce, my friend Mr. Robinson, and my church family, many others, and all of them who have encouraged me and prayed for me because I was lashed with the sickness of menopause the bad one depression panic attack acid reflux stomach four four sickness lash me one time and ear loss that five right because in in spite of all what was going on the ear loss come down on me <laughs> and guys i used to love my hair i spent any more amount of money to make sure my hair okay my hair yes i have pride in my hair and i take pride in my hair and when i saw it start happening i was so depressed i was so sad and i was saying what is happening what is happening to my hair i went to some different different hairdressers and try to go to those who treat the hair real well like give it you have the ear fertilizer this everything that they said i should buy i spent a lot of money just to save my hair but did it save no i still have my hair loss and <laughs> I, it's sad and sometimes i feel so broken because sometimes i don't want to wear any hat i don't want to wear this and i don't want to put on a wig but what do i do in my own yard outside i go i have to be covering my head and sometimes i feel so sad worse when the time is hot it gets hot and i have to wash my hair almost every week because so i keep covering it it's sweat because i'm embarrassed i, I, I am ashamed for people to see my hair. and i know many of you are going through that phase but should we be ashamed? No, we should not be ashamed because we did ask for it. It just come on us. It's a part of life. Life throw things at, at us what we don't expect and what we didn't want. But life still throw it at us. So, guys, we want to laugh, laugh. We want to cry, cry. We want to be sympathetic with Bev Brown. Thank you so much. But this is it. Start to hide. See it here, guys. That's Bev Brown. Yeah. To God be the glory here springing up. See it there? Yeah, here springing, springing. That's my hair last, that babe brown. It's tired to hide and to cover up, guys. Yeah, so I play, um, 
love my hair so much and I spent a lot of money on it to keep it nice I didn't want to use cream and those things jerry curls and cream here so I lock it I lock it and it was so fluffy and nice and yeah keep it real but then there come disaster a little part in here start to peel out and I wonder what is that mean and I start buy all kind of thing go everywhere and buy and try to see what could happen until everything start eating out and guys I was really sad and devastated but thank god I can take off it now and show you guys because I couldn't not even my children I'm here grandchildren I don't let them see it because I feel so ashamed and so embarrassed but then looking back I was here this morning and is that like spirit said to me why hiding why hiding let your youtube family see why you cover up so here it is my youtube family when you see Bev Brown in her hat and in the headbands her wig that's that's the problem i have and i see it on youtube where many people are going through this problem also and in real life here i saw many people but they trim it off and so but i i would never feel happy to cut it off yeah to cut it off i prefer you know use it like this sometimes i wrap it like this and put it around fix it up the best way i can and go outside you know and i have stuck in foot where i put on it so this is it this is it we all face with all different sicknesses all different circumstances but what do we do we have to jesus said i will never leave you nor forsake you so that is what encourages me enough time i say why father but then i stop say why me why me why why this happen why bad things happen to good people we don't question god we just accept what life threw at us and try our best to cope with it and move on sometimes yes we are human so we feel sad we feel disappointed. Yeah, sometimes I'm sad, I'm lonely, sometimes I cry. And next time I say, check it off. And you know, so sometimes I have good days, sometimes I have bad days, sometimes I'm up and sometimes I'm down. Sometimes I feel sad, sometimes I feel lonely, sometimes I feel depressed. But that's it so sometimes i do my video and i'm so happy but after doing a video happy and so on bev brown reality it and said look at your hair it's gone you have to be wearing hat everywhere i'm going after have on a hat or a wig i hate wigs trust me guys wig when you put it on worse when the time is hot oh my god and the hat same way sometimes i'm meant to go be on the sun is so hot and my head is boiling. I don't want to wear it, but I have to wear it just to cover the embarrassment. So this is me, life with Bev Brown, the real life with Bev Brown. I always tell you guys that I have problem in my hair, but you never see the real thing yet. So see it here. This is me. But I don't sit and wallow in self-pity. I still happy. So all you guys who are going, are going around with hair like mine and it's happening to you now and you don't know how to cope with it just go to the city and pray and talk with king jesus and he will pull you through you can't do it on your own i couldn't do it on my own because when it just happened with the person like me who loved my hair so much i didn't take it so lot and so you know it was terrible i was sad 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 went through a long long sad time to accept what was that mean to my hair and trying everything to bring it back and until today no much years now so i have to say that's it when i see things it's springing up so i'm just watching to see you know everything they tell me how to buy and so i tried herbal things medical things everything right now i'm taking some gummy beer gummy beer thing what them said can help nails and hair yeah i have to eat two each day so i'm trying that to see how best it can work if it don't work i start going me just have to go and wear me hat and wear me headband and things so all those who are going through a lot of sickness my friend jet my friend trending don't give up 
Just keep pressing and praying to the Almighty God. He will come true for you. If he do it for Bev Brown and for many others, we are not special. We are all special. We are, we are all special in God's eyes. When I say we are not special, I mean that because God did it for me and others, he, he specializes. No, he doesn't specialize in no one. He loves each and every one of us the same way, right? So what he done for me, he will do for you and for trending and for all those who are going through their ailments. God will come through for you all. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel and said, and then fall in this terrible depression. Because let me tell you something. I went through depression and that's not a easy thing. You have to have God with you to keep focus. Else we lost it. Voices in my head talking to me many times. And if I didn't have Jesus, where would I be now? On the sidewalk in Montego Bay, a mad, mad lady eating out of garbage pan. But praise be to God, I'm here. Yet at that time, I still have my panic attack. But when the panic attack really hit me, it's like when I work, 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 and don't get any rest, then later on, I pay the penalty. And if I don't get enough rest, and if I eat something that the hormone rejected because I'm still going through my menopause, I will have a little panic attack. But not like first time with you, so eat me all four or five times for the day and in the night, it wake me up, fright me, and I have to... Now and then, about two nights, about three weeks back or two weeks back, two nights it happened to me where I jump up and this terrible panic attack. But I know what happened. I eat too late. I eat after nine, which I shouldn't. I must eat the last meal, five o'clock. But I was feeling hungry and I went and eat and that's it. So we have to know to deal with things, you know. So yes. This is Bev Brown. Stop mass up, mass up now. But I will still put on my hat. But I want you, my YouTube family, to see what Bev Brown is going through. So, yes. <laughs> Sister da, K, Jamaica K Lifestyle and Miss Bev, Miss Bev's production was saying I should just cut it and let it spring up back. Which I look into it, but oh my God. I don't know. I don't know if I can. I tried. And I think about it, thank them for their suggestion and the, you know, encouragement. But it, it is what it is. I'm still lingering and wondering what to do. Because sometimes going out, I can just put it over. Sometimes I do like this, put it like this. Yes, sometimes I put it like this and kind of twist it and put it like this, fix it up, fix it up one way, fix it up the best way I can <laughs> and go out, you know. I try to do a lot of different stuff with it and go out. Just so I the front part here. Yeah, so sometimes I said if I cut off everything, everything, you understand? So thanks Miss Bev Production and, and Sister Dawkins for your suggestions and so on and thinking about it. But yeah, like this sometimes I can hide it like that. You see my YouTube family, so remember to like, share, tell me what you think. And anybody have any remedy for Bev Brown to put in the ear last spot for it to spring up back nicely. I'd so appreciated it. Yeah man. So in life we go through our crucibles. We don't know what will happen to our next person. I went through five crucibles one time. Panic attack, acid reflux, stomach, menopause, and the ear loss, and the depression. Five, can you imagine? But here I am, here I am giving God thanks and praise. Can do my little farming, can wash, can help the elderly, you know? One time gone, I couldn't do nothing more and just come and sit like this, looking all day and shaking, 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 just like this, shaking, shaking, yeah. So I used to sit and I would shake, 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 shake for the day until I feel like to eat something. I go and get something to eat and I go and have a shower and I come back and I sit and I shake, 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 shake. That's how I am. That's how I used to be. I was in a different world. I, 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 I was an, in an unconscious world. Yeah. Even my daughter came sometime and come for me and I, when she went park to go and buy something at the supermarket. 
I Faisi say me, get out of the car, get out of the car. Your daughter come for you to kill you, you know? And I get scared and the panic attack on me and I start to tremble and get scared. But a voice saying to me, relax, relax, relax. No, your daughter not going to hurt you. You know? That's it. Going into um passenger's vehicle and the Everybody get out of me alone, left to go, my destination. The vice saying to me, the driver gonna take you away, the driver gonna kill you. And you know, I was, after beating my head, beating my head, beating my head and shaking, shaking. And the vice, calm vice, I know the vice of Jesus saying, no one gonna hurt you. Calm down, calm down. And the panic attack on me, panic attack. I was scared to go out first time, guys. Scared to go into passenger's vehicle. Scared to go by myself. Scared to stay by myself. Could not stay in my own home. I have to be running, running, running. I was like a mad person. Every minute you see me with a backpack. Gone, 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 gone. Could not stay at home at all. Terrible depression I went through. But I am here to give you my testimony. So all those who are going through depression, panic attack is mental. I didn't know that panic attack was a form of men, 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 mental health issues i didn't know because you know we didn't get the teachment and the men of pause didn't know about it and so on so everything came lashing down and life with Bev Brown. but thanks to god i'm here by prayers and encouragement and enough love people send love for me and call me and love me upon you know give me their blessings and family members also children you know in my time of depression you know thanks be to God but many are out there doesn't have anyone to really and they don't know Jesus so know Jesus for yourself that you can talk to him pray to him reason with him and he will take us through many deep waters that the enemy is one us so remember to like share comment tell me what you think about life with Bev Brown with her ah yeah so that's why many of my new um, subscribers might be saying I've never seen Bev Brown without a hat or a headband that is why my viewers and my subscriber that is why life with Bev Brown always covered because of her illness yeah that leave me with this baldness in the front if it was at the back it wouldn't so bad you understand me because I could have used it here and just whoop and cover it but why it always happen at the front it should be at the back then we could use it long here cover the back but that is it. It is it. it. It is what it is. That's it. That's life. Peace out. Love you guys. Blessing up and blessing. <laughs> going to going to the blessing soup kitchen now to look about the elderly dinner. All right. Love you guys.